Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at default parameter values in Kotlin. So I've got my main function here, and I've also created a function called calculate volume. That has three parameters. They're all of type double. They're called width, length, and height. And this function also returns something of type double. What it returns is just these three parameters multiplied together. So I've called it calculate volume because of course, this can calculate a volume if you supply a width, length, and height. Let's actually try to use it. So let's say here val result one equals calculate volume. And one thing to bear in mind here is that we have to supply double values. So I can't, for example, supply 246 for width, length, and height. It's not going to accept that. But if I supply 2.0, 4.0, and 6.0, then it's going to be just fine because they can be interpreted as doubles. And let's just print the result here and run this and it's going to work as you expect. So there you can see we've calculated 48.0. Now, what if I decide that I want height to default to the value one so that if I don't supply height here, I can call the function with just width and length. So what I want to be able to do is say val result 2 equals calculate volume, let's say 6.0 and 7.2 or whatever. And then I can print result 2. Now this is giving me an error because we've not supplied any value for height. But what I can do is after the type specification for the height parameter, I can just say equals 1.0 and then height will default to 1 if I don't supply that parameter. So now if I run this, we can now use calculate volume to calculate an area with just width and length. Let's actually change these to print line just so that we can see each result on its own line. That's a bit easier to read. Now you can supply default values for some or all of the parameters. But one thing to be aware of is that if you supply positional arguments, they're going to fill up from the left to the right. So let's say, for example, we give width a default value also of 1.0. So now you could think, well, I only need to specify one argument, length, when I call this function. Let's copy that and try it out. So now we've got result three. And let's see if we can just get away with supplying just one value. Let's try 1.23. And you can see straight away that gives me an error. And that's because I'm supplying a positional argument here. So that's going to match up with width. The positional arguments will match up from the left to the right. If I supply another one, it will be length. And if I supply a third, it will be height. So for this reason, the difficulty of matching positional arguments when you supplied default values for parameters over to the left here, and there are some in the middle that don't have default values, some programming languages would forbid you from having a value that doesn't have a default to the right of a value that does, because then how do you go about matching up the positional arguments? But with Kotlin, of course, we've got named arguments. So what I can actually do here to make this work is I can simply write length, which is the one I need to supply a value for, equals 1.23. Let's spell that correctly because that will definitely help. And now it actually works. So if I run this, we're going to get back 1.23 because the other two are going to default to 1.0. And there we go. So if you're a beginner, it's definitely worth practicing all these three possibilities a bit. That's it for this video. And until next time, happy coding.